Good evening and welcome to this video where I will hopefully be saying hello, finally, to the Milky Way which will be rising over there in about seven hours. Uh, I'm currently at Dunnot Nor Castle, I can never pronounce it. Uh, I'm going to camp in my car tonight and hopefully capture the Milky Way rising um, from the east in about yeah six seven hours. I thought it would be a good idea for to make a video for saying hello to the Milky Way and goodbye to Orion because we've got two crystal clear nights uh, just now at the start of March and hopefully I'll be able to capture obviously the Milky Way tonight and tomorrow the Milky Way setting and hopefully uh, over Loch Tummel at the famous Queensview uh, viewpoint. I'm going to make the most of these two crystal clear nights with no moon at all so yeah, I'm really looking forward to finally seeing the Milky Way and then tomorrow saying goodbye to Orion. So let's hope the sky is clear because they are meant to. It's starting to clear now from the east. There's like a cloud front sort of wall moving th through the country. So, oh, there's that light just gone off. So hopefully you can still see me. But yeah, next time you see me, hopefully I'll be under the Milky Way in the middle of the night. Right, okay, so it's now about 3 a.m. and the Milky Way is out, it's nice and clear skies. The plan for tonight is going to be a lot of pictures and a lot of time lapses, it's pretty hectic. So I've got a time lapse going now, which will hopefully get obviously a nice time lapse, a star trail image, and hopefully some obviously nice stacked image as well. So, taking this, oh, excuse my lighting. Taking a time lapse is pretty good for so many pictures since I can get a star trail from it. Uh, obviously, the time lapse, and then I can take about five pictures out of it, five to ten pictures out of the time lapse and stack them. And then I'll just get a single image of just a nice stacked image of the Milky Way core. It is quite busy here tonight. Um, it is quite a famous location for Milky Way pictures because it's such an iconic location. So there's another photographer here just now and I'm meeting again uh, Kim Grant from Visualise in Scotland. She's wanting to capture the Milky Way as well. So she'll be along. So there might be a, a lot of lights going about which is quite, kind of a nightmare but it's shootable. You just have to kind of, everyone's got you know, photographer's etiquette. You just kind of dim your lights pretty much. And just good to see the Milky Way core again. It's still about two hours before the actual core comes up. So that's why I've started the time lapse now, so the time lapse will show the core rising. And also as well I forgot Venus will rise as well, which will be pretty cool. So it'll be nice to see Venus again. But yeah, so the plan is for the time lapse, star trail, stacked image, a panorama with with the Milky Way arch, and also a 360 panorama, which I think could look pretty cool as well with the Milky Way core. So it's also good as well because we're looking right over the North Sea, so there's absolutely zero light pollution over the, the obviously the ocean, so we're just seeing straight to the Milky Way core. So I better get going because I've got a lot of pictures to take to tick off the list. And let's hope they all they all come out well and I've got enough battery power to do them all. So now I'm just setting up my panoramic rig, if I can focus it, uh, which is the rig that I use for the 360. So I'm going to try this out with a load of panoramas tonight with the wide angle lens and a 24mm lens taking pictures like a row of the foreground and then a row of the sky and then stitching them all together in a PT GUI. So I've just set all this up and I'm just about to head over to the castle which is over there and you can just see the Milky Way starting to come up a wee bit more there is also a photographer as I said over there so I'll try to keep my lights as to a minimum as possible but yeah so just getting the, the rig set up 
and we should be good to go to capture, capture some Milky Way panoramic arches. And here's the 360 panorama at the location. As you can see the core and the arch just stretching right over the sky. Unfortunately the light pollution of Aberdeen gets in the way, but I can't help that. Absolutely no clouds in the sky. You can see how clean it is. You can't tell where it's stitched, so it just shows you that complicated tripod and the parallax nodal bar really makes a difference as it just makes such a clean image. But yeah, just unfortunate about Aberdeen's light pollution. But you can't help that, but very, very happy to finally get a 360 with the Milky Way core. So myself and Kim just waited around till twilight and watched Venus rise above the horizon as it was perfectly aligned with the castle. So we got the 50mm out and got some pretty nice unique pictures of Venus rising behind the castle. So we're back out again, um, last night was Dutner Castle, now tonight is the Queen's View at Loch Tummel. Orion's shining lovely and bright behind me, absolutely no clouds in the sky, so I'm going to capture finally Orion over this viewpoint which is obviously a very fa famous viewpoint. Also we'll do another 360 as well because the stars are just so bright just now because there's no moon or anything so the sky the stars will really pop. So I'll do a 360 and then I'll get some nice pictures of Orion hopefully over the viewpoint. It's good because there's no one here as well, in our castle last night, there was a few people there so um, you know you got the lights flashing about but here there's absolutely nobody about at all. No light pollution. There's absolutely nothing. I might be able to get the zodiacal light as well since we're viewing west, but I won't know until I start taking pictures. So I'm going to quickly do the 360 while the stars are nice and high in the sky, and then when Orion sets a wee bit lower to near the loch view, so it sits nice just above the loch, then I'll take um, the normal stats pictures that 
and that pretty much I like. It's quite warm as well, it's only about 1-2 degrees which is quite nice. I'm in trainers and you know kind of joggies so it's really not that cold for this time of year so it makes for some comfortable astrophotography. So let's get the 360 ticked off the list. This will also be one of the last times I uh, photograph Orion this year because it's just sitting pretty much a few hours after uh, a few hours after dark. So only a few maybe this month is the last month for Orion. And then that'll be it, that'll be it out of the sky for the year. So that's why I'm making the most of it now. And then I'll be focusing mainly on the Milky Way for the next couple of months. And then we'll be in, before we know it, we'll be into spring and summer with noctilus and clouds. Right. so quiet. There is no wind whatsoever. The loch is flat calm in front of me. These nights are pretty rare. You only get these these nights um, pretty much once in a blue moon sort of thing. They're not that common that you get it's not freezing, no wind, and not a cloud in the sky. Wow. Just have a look down the loch. Wow. Look how bright then stars are glowing. The loch's obviously down there somewhere. This must be some of the darkest skies in Britain. Wow. And here is probably the best 360 image that I've ever got so far. I've only done this for a few weeks, but just look at the colours of the sky. This is what you get when you go into really, really dark skies. The colours just pop, the sky is just crystal clear. Oh, it's just, just look at the detail in the night sky. Orion's shining so brightly. You can see the ve this is the faintest part of the Milky Way, but you can clearly pick it up. And it's just such a nice stitch. Everything stitched perfectly. The very top's still a wee bit weird, but just look at the detail in the night sky. And down below, you can't even tell it's kind of like night time. It's just perfect. Okay, so I think that's me done for tonight. I've got my uh, 360, I've got my panorama, I've got my stack shots. So, very happy with the result good to finally see off Orion for the year um, and focus on other things like I've said like the Milky Way but yeah that's pretty much the close to Orion I'm not going to do much more with Orion now because it's just getting too low in the horizon now like it's about 10, half 10, 11 ish and it's pretty much already setting so I'm very happy with how this night's turned out the weather has been absolutely fantastic Yesterday was brilliant, so these two nights have been really good just to say hello to the Milky Way and goodbye to uh, the hunter of Orion. So yeah, so hopefully 
I'm going to put the images up and you enjoy them because I think they'll be pre pretty good hopefully. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video of saying hello to the Milky Way and goodbye to Orion. It's been a brilliant few days, pretty sleepless. I've hardly had any sleep so it'll be good to get a wee bit of cloud cover so I can get back to sleeping a wee bit and processing all these pictures and time lapses and star trails and blah 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 time lapse. I need time to do it, it takes, it takes a good few hours to sort through all the, the data and process it all so hopefully we get some cloud cover and I get to rest myself and get through these pictures Good to welcome spring in Scotland again and looking forward to the rest of the year so hopefully you enjoyed this video Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>